I remember this picture like it was yesterday. I remember taking it. I remember thinking I was just the bomb. And then reality checked in. I remember going to a party where all of these pictures were developed. And as I was going through the album, I remember thinking, oh my God, is that me? I never took pictures with other people, especially people that were smaller than me. Because I knew I was big, I just didn't know how big. So as I'm looking through the album, I'm sweating. And I'm sweating because I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe how big I am. If I'm not mistaken, that was on July the 4th. And July the 5th is when I said, it's done. I'm over it. My journey began. These pictures are full body shots before I got on my journey. I was always very confident on the outside. It was only when I was alone in my own head space that I really thought about my weight and it affected me. I love taking selfies. These next couple of pictures will be before and after, um, just facial shots. I love, love taking selfies. I think it just really gives me an idea of how far I have came when I compare the two. My before pictures, and those two pictures, believe it or not, I was probably only about 23, 24, versus I'm 31 now. And as you guys are about to see, I look way younger now than when I did when I was 23. So that weight really, not only did it pack on pounds, I was very unhealthy, but it made me look very, very old as well. Large derrieres run in my family. I don't really post many pictures from the back because I know it's going to attract a lot of attention that I really don't want. My hips and my butt is the biggest part of my body and it's like everything is shrinking but that part. So I know that even when I feel like I'm at goal, that part of my body is still going to be pretty big and I'm okay with that. I like my curves. So of course the whole purpose of this video is to show you guys some before and after pictures as you guys requested. The picture on the left I took back in August of 2014 and the picture on the right I took maybe four weeks after that and then of course these two pictures are two months apart but of course the left picture is the original picture that I took. Headshots at the top of before and now and then body shots before and now. I was all dressed up and fancy. The picture at the top was before and the picture at the bottom was back in August. Most of these pictures are tagged like today, now and before and things like that because I've posted a lot of them on Facebook so all of them that are tagged they were post on Facebook when I took them so if you've never seen them then you're missing out these next two before and now pictures are as recent as yesterday so I took the picture with the stripes on yesterday for you guys and as you guys can see from August until the first it looks way different I I was blown away because I don't really see a difference in my clothes but when you take pictures you really see the difference so I encourage any and everyone if you just started your journey this year on the first make sure you take pictures so you can really see your progress and the after to the right was took about a week ago okay yeah I knew I wanted to say it twice right so anyway it took about a week ago and I was at the gym 
Oh, it took everything in me, you guys, to post this picture. <laughs> it's not that I hate my thighs, it's just my sore area. I just, I don't like the way they look without clothes on. Um, until I can tone them up, I try to hide them as much as possible because there's a lot going on with them. And believe it or not, you guys, the picture on the left is not even at my max. The picture on the left is 400 pounds. That's why I encourage everyone to take pictures because, again, believe it or not, the girl that's in the left, that's what I see in the mirror. So you have to really take pictures in order to see the difference. Even though I'm now um, the girl on the right, I still see that girl on the left. I know you guys have been waiting for a weight loss update, so can I get a drum roll, please? You guys heard me doing the drum roll before I asked for it. <laughs> um, so as of now, when I weighed in on the first, I was 247 pounds. That is a total loss of 234 pounds. So this is me, you guys. This is my 500 pound life. This is my story. And I hope that it is motivating you guys because I think that being 500 pounds is up there. That's like morbidly obese. And I'm doing this. I'm doing it naturally. And yes, it's taking way longer because when I originally started this journey, I was like, two years, I'm going to be 180 pounds. Yeah, it didn't work that way. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm persistent. And it's been about three years and a half for me consistently on my journey. And I'm almost there, you guys. I'm knocking at my goal door. Let me clarify some things, you guys. Officially, I've been on my journey about four years and five months, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but going hard on my journey, it's only been about three years um, and a half. And the reason that is, is because I was in a very unhealthy, unstable relationship for a little bit less than a year. And if you guys have been subscribed for a while, you guys probably know that time frame because I fell off and all this. I didn't gain any weight. But um, I wasn't really losing weight. I just had a lot going on. So I, I brought that up to say that when you're when you start a journey like this, this journey will be for the rest of your life. But when you start this journey, you really, really have to be um, stable. You have to be mentally and physically stable in order to succeed. It doesn't matter if you're 150 pounds or 650 pounds. If you're determined to lose weight, you just have to be patient and stick with it. I was basically 500 pounds. This is my 500 pound life. And as of right now, I'm 247 pounds. By the summer, I might be in the hundreds. Um, by next year, I know I will be in the hundreds and I will be maintaining it. So I know I, I know I got this, you guys, and I know that y'all got this. Thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. I love you. I know some of you guys are new and y'all might have questions about my journey. I have over 300 videos, um, several playlists, so please check them out. I'm sure they will answer most of your questions, but if you still have questions, leave them below in the um, comment section or you can private message me on Facebook. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can always like on Facebook for real-time updates.